In the year 1914, Professor P.Y. and his student Billy Masterson are exploring the ruins of an ancient Egyptian temple, where they uncover a prophecy detailing a great evil that will emerge from a black hole in 5,000 years. This evil can only be stopped by a weapon made from the four elements, water, fire, earth, and air, together forming the fifth element, a perfect being. Just as Professor P.Y. is on the verge of discovering the identity of the fifth element, a priest from a secret order intervenes, offering poison water. P.Y. rejects the offer, and a spaceship lands atop the pyramid, revealing the alien race known as the Mesians. They inform the priest that he was their human contact, and that they must take the stones and the fifth element due to an impending war. In the chaos, P.Y. faints, and the Mesians take the stones and the sarcophagus containing the fifth element. Fast forward to the year 2214, the year of the prophecy, where a giant fireball threatens Earth. A priest named Cornelius insists to the president that the only way to save humanity lies in the prophecy and the fifth element. The president dismisses him and orders an attack, but the fireball absorbs the missiles and retaliates, destroying the military ship. Meanwhile, Corbin Dallas, a divorced ex-soldier turned taxi driver, becomes embroiled in the unfolding events when he encounters the fifth element, Lelu, who escapes from captivity and lands on his taxi while fleeing from the police. Corbin, intrigued by Lelu, decides to protect her. They seek out Cornelius, who recognizes Lelu as the fifth element. As they navigate through various obstacles, including the Mangalores, an alien group working for the Great Evil, they learn that the elemental stones are crucial for stopping the impending disaster. Cornelius and Corbin infiltrate a charity event at Floston Paradise, where the stones are believed to be held by a diva named Plavalagina. During the concert, chaos ensues as the Mangalores attack, and Lelu showcases her martial arts skills to retrieve the stones. As the situation escalates, Zorg, a villainous character, is also after the stones. After a series of intense confrontations, Corbin manages to secure the stones and escape with Lelu, Cornelius, and Ruby, a flamboyant radio host. They return to Earth just in time to confront the fireball, which is now hurtling towards the planet. In a race against time, they gather at the temple to activate the weapon using the stones. With only moments to spare, Corbin professes his love for Lelu, which inspires her to harness the power of the stones. As the fireball approaches, Lelu activates the weapon, emitting a blinding light that stops the fireball and saves humanity. The film concludes with Corbin and Lelf being celebrated as heroes, but they remain in a recovery chamber, embracing each other, symbolizing love's triumph over chaos and destruction. The narrative intertwines themes of prophecy, love, and the battle between good and evil, culminating in a dramatic and heartfelt resolution.